Okay, I'm trying to see if we got, I think we've got just me now. So trying to get things done. Um, I think we've got just me now. Yeah, I'm just testing some stuff out. So we'll get started, excuse me, in just a minute. Um, as we gather together for our midday prayer time. So uh, I'm glad you're joining us. Let me know that you're here and um, I will um, connect with you. Um, I see Angel's with us. Angel, good to see you. Uh, good afternoon to you. Um, we we'll hope, um, uh, you, hope you're having a good day uh, yourself and that uh, our time together will be uh, a time that is blessed by God's presence and the presence of the Holy Spirit among us, which I am sure of. So um, uh, as we're getting um, into there, oh, Diane's with us as well. So good to see you with us as well, Diane. Uh, we'll get started in just a second. Uh, again, if you have folks you would like to include in our prayers, um, please uh, put their names in our um, in the chat, and I'll include them when we get to that point in our time together. Um, so uh, uh, good afternoon to everyone. And so we're going to get started. We're going to center ourselves in the presence of God as we breathe in the breath of God. And we breathe out our cares and our concerns. And we breathe in the love of God. And we breathe out our doubts and our despairs. And we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our fears and our frustrations. Jean, good to see that you're watching us as well or praying with us as well. Um, so we've got Jean and Angel and Diane uh, online and others may join us uh, as we continue. Um, we've centered ourselves and I'm going to read uh, some selections from Psalm 28. Um, today is as um, National World uh, or it's World AIDS Day, a day when we remember uh, those who have died from HIV or AIDS uh, and those who are continuing to live with HIV and AIDS. Uh, um, it is a reality for so many of our siblings um, and uh, we continue to pray for those who uh, are living with the virus um, and who are uh, um, receiving medical care as they go through. Uh, Lynn, good to see you as well. So again, Psalm 28, I'm going to read the first two verses and the last two verses. Uh, actually, I'm going to read uh, the last four verses. So, uh, so it's uh, so Psalm 28, verses 1, 2, and then 6 through 9. To you, O Lord, I call my rock. Do not refuse to hear me. For if you are silent to me, I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplication. And as I cry to you for help, as I lift up my hands toward your most holy sanctuary. Blessed be the Lord. For he has heard the, heard the sound of my pleadings. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him, my heart trusts. So I am helped and my heart exults. And with my song, I give thanks to him. The Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. Oh, save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forward. Um, this is one of the suggested uh, psalms or suggested, suggested scripture readings uh, if we were to actually be holding a worship service or a day of, uh, a day of remembrance for World uh, AIDS Day. Um, and um, it, the way that the psalmist begins with uh, kind of this uh, reminding God to pay attention to the pleadings and to the cries of God's people um, is reminiscent of a lot of folks within the scriptural text, um, um, particularly within the Psalms, where we, we come before God and we 
Um, we beg, we plead, we we cry for God to hear our prayer, right? Um, and then there's the psalmist ends with uh, prayers of, of thanksgiving or words of thanksgiving in that those prayers have been heard um, in, a, in a kind of a testament to a faith that it is in God's very self uh, in which our um, faith lies, in which our trust should lie, uh, and from whom all blessings come forward. You know, I, I, um, we've lived with the AIDS virus for most of our lives, it seems. Uh, I remember when it was first a thing, uh, first coming out, a lot of people didn't know much about it. Uh, a lot of people were afraid, um, and a lot of people died um, before there could be adequate care and treatment. Um, I had a dear fraternity brother who died from um, HIV and AIDS. Um, uh, many years ago, uh, probably contracted the disease before he even knew how to be, uh, how, how he could have prevented that. Um, and uh, there have been millions of folks who in the United States and across the world who have died from this virus, this unknown thing that uh, can take over your life and then just destroy it, right? Um, and so there, I'm sure there've been lots of prayers pleading for cures, for treatments, those kinds of things. I also have a friend that's living, uh, uh, kind of outlived what his initial diagnosis would have given him uh, in terms of uh, being diagnosed with HIV. Uh, he is living uh, a full life. Uh, he does receive treatment and um, we are grateful for the treatments that he is able to receive and for the life that he is able to live. So um, as we remember today, uh, our siblings who have suffered with HIV and AIDS uh, from across, not, not just within the United States, but from across God's world, um, we give thanks for the gift of medical treatments. Um, um, and Diane, I, I see your comment there that you took care of many AIDS patients and you lost your brother to it. I, I uh, surround you in prayer and uh, pray uh, that, that you are consoled in this time uh, as well. Um, and uh, one day we will, one day all of this will go away, uh, all the diseases, everything. And we're promised that God will, in God's recreation, we will all be uh, made whole. There will be no death or no dying. There will only be basking in God's love. So uh, we remember your brother today, Diane, as well. Uh, and so now our friends from Camp Hill, I think are going to sing for us a song that I think in so many ways um, helps us to feel um, uh, it's almost like a psalmist or like a prayer itself. It's called Come Down, O Love Divine. It's a prayer that we might pray in the middle of all the trauma that we are experiencing. Uh, and so we, um, we hope and pray, or I hope and pray, that it is one that soothes your soul on this World's Day's Day. So let's hear our friends from Camp Hill, and then we'll get back together to pray. If you want to add people to our prayer list, please put their names in the comments. Mm -hmm. Come down, O oh love divine. Seek thou this soul of mine and visit it with thine own ardor glowing. O oh, comforter, draw near. With in my heart appear and kindle it thy holy flame bestowing oh that it free Dust and ashes in its heat consuming. And let thy glorious light shine ever on my sight and clothe me 
round the while my path illuminates. Let holy charity mine outward be and loneliness become my inner clothing. True loneliness of heart, which takes the humbler part, and o'er its own shortcomings weeps with loathing. the soul will long shall far out past the power of human telling for none can guess its grace till love create a place wherein the Holy Spirit a dwelling Come down, O oh love divine. That's, that's a prayer we can all pray every day. And now let us pray. O oh, divine one, O oh, creator of all, O oh, healer of all. On this day when we remember those who have suffered with HIV and AIDS, who have died with HIV and AIDS, and who continue to live with HIV and AIDS. First of all, God, we give you thanks for the gift of a love that you give your people, a love that, um, a love that heals our wounds, a love that comforts our, our hearts when we mourn, a love that surpasses all things. We ask God that you create a space in our heart for that love to dwell. And that as that love dwells in our hearts, that we would be transformed into your messengers of grace and love. We pray God for those nurses and those doctors and all those folks who have cared for AIDS patients over the years. We pray for those who have lost family and friends to this disease. We look forward to the day when this disease will be eradicated forever. And until that time, we ask God that you continue to help uh, those in the medical community to come up with treatments that continue to sustain life for those who are infected. We, can, we pray God for um, your healing presence to be on all people who suffer. Today we pray for Thorne and Nancy, for Joseph Vingren, Phil Chavez, Laura Dareth, Terry, Howard Fails, Rebecca Neal, Glenn Hardesty, Jane Cox, Sabrina, Ryan and Dave, Lynn Smith, Linda Heitzelman, 
Peggy Helwig, Ruby Gostel, Katie Lawrence, Tracy Strimple, Paul and Dom, Brian Shaw, Jerry, Lynn Anderson, Mike, Keith Wagner, Bev Diaz, Connie Koss, Ernie, Keith Brown, Adam Hayes, Karen, Madeline Rubin, Stacy Allison, Carolyn Culp, and all of those that we name aloud are silently in our hearts at this time. We pray that your healing presence will bring strength and comfort to all in need. We give you thanks, God, for the gift of a promise that you give us through your son, Jesus Christ, that there is nothing in this world that can ever separate us from your great love, and that one day your son will return and usher in the final step in your recreation, a step in which you will take up residence among us where death and pain and dying will be no more, where we will live forever surrounded by your, your radiant love, a love that will warm us and comfort us. You'll be close enough to us to dry up, up all of our tears. Um, you'll be with us always. And now, God, we pray the words that Jesus taught uh, his disciples to, to pray when they said, Lord, teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now as God's people called together, we breathe in the breath of God. And we breathe out our tension and our turmoil. We breathe in the love of God. And we breathe out our haste and our apprehensions. And we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our work and our worry. And now before we depart, um, a couple of things. Um, don't forget we have uh, we have worship on Sunday, 930 in, uh, on site and online. It's the first Sunday of Advent. Um, so we'll be looking forward to beginning our Advent season uh, on Sunday. And then uh, we'll be gathering for uh, dinner church on Wednesday evenings at 615 in the Fellowship Center. Um, you can join, bring a bring a dish to share, and we'll join as we have dinner and church kind of simultaneously. It can be a new experience for us. And then we'll gather as always on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of next week for midday prayer. Pastor Tamika will be with you on Monday. I'll be with you on Wednesday and Friday. And until that time, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, today and always. Amen. Enjoy the rest of your day, and God bless you all. I'll see you uh, at worship or on midday prayer next week.